And the mayor does call this an important week. The state health commissioner calls it a critical week in the Dallas Ebola investigation. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Thomas Duncan is now in critical condition and is being treated with an experimental drug, while health officials are keeping a close eye on 48 other people. Calvert Collins, first on Fox 4 News, will explain where things stand right now. Calvert. Well, Steve, while Thomas Duncan receives that experimental drug, Brenzodorfavir, the focus now shifts to the 40, the 48 people closest to him. They're calling it a critical week because it has now been more than seven days since anyone was exposed to Duncan while he had Ebola symptoms. So doctors think that if anyone else gets sick, they will know in the next few days. 100% uh, of people that we've evaluated, 100% that, that do not have fever. That's the good news. The bad news is there's still time for fever and symptoms to develop. These 48 people are being monitored by the CDC every day for any spike in temperature or change in health condition. Only 10 are considered high risk, meaning they spent most time with Duncan before he was hospitalized September 28th and are most susceptible to exposure. Hazmat crews spent days clearing the apartment Thomas Duncan shared with his girlfriend. Medical waste was incinerated and personal belongings bagged. We have saved personal items uh, like the grandmother's Bible, uh, photos, hard, di hard drives, passports. Those things have been uh, taken away. But uh, as of noon today, um, that apartment is completely cleaned up. That apartment was ground zero, and the Ivy Apartments considered the epicenter of the only Ebola investigation on U.S. soil. Neighbors are suffering from the unwanted attention. And unfortunately, they are feeling discriminated against. We still have some that have been turned away from jobs, some that have been turned away at retail, at retail locations. So we're, we're getting them in touch with legal aid and any resources necessary. But Dallas City Councilwoman Jennifer Stallback Gates has become an advocate for the diverse Vickery Meadow community. Churches and other nonprofits are providing food, resources, and volunteers to help the hundreds of families. The concern right now is you know, that the, the stress of this and the fear of this, you know, could be more damaging to this community than, than the virus itself. Duncan's girlfriend, Louise Tro, has been talking with the senior pastor at Wilshire Baptist Church in East Dallas, where she attended. County leaders moved her and her children from their apartment to a secluded home on Friday. While they're confined for two more weeks, they have gotten a few tastes of the outside world. We uh, got the basketball to the boy, and he said he liked football, so we got him a, got him a football. Well, doctors say the real deadline is October 19th, because that would be three weeks since anyone outside this hospital has had any contact or potential exposure from Thomas Duncan. Medically speaking, Heather, they would be considered in the clear. All right, so Calvert, we heard Councilwoman Gates say that a lot of people there in the Ivy apartment complex, they feel stigmatized by this entire process. Did she talk at all about things maybe being done to help them? Well, she said that there, while there are, you know, she mentioned their workplaces turning them away. She gave me off camera another example of some volunteer tutors who normally go help uh, DISD students after school in their apartments with their families. And now some of them are refusing to go into their apartments because of the public health fear that they, uh, they're, they're talking about. So there are some churches and other nonprofit organizations spearheaded by North Park Presbyterian Church and Park Cities Baptist that are trying to get food into the food pantry there in Vickery Meadow and other resources and money to help these individuals that uh, just feel like they have nowhere to go. So there is that community effort as well as everything that the county is doing. Understood. All right, Calvert Collins live for us tonight. Thanks, Calvert.